What do flu shots and colorectal cancer screening kits have in common? More than you might think. Colorectal cancer deaths are preventable with screening, but screening rates remain low, especially in ethnically diverse populations cared for in resource-limited medical settings. Dr. Potter and his research team partnered with community clinics in San Francisco to develop an innovative program to increase colorectal cancer screening rates for this at-risk population. Most colorectal cancer deaths can be prevented with simple screening tests. And the most commonly used screening tests in the United States are colonoscopy done every 10 years, flexible sigmoidoscopy done every five years, or fecal occult blood tests done every year. In most community health centers, fecal occult blood testing is used as the primary uh, method of colon cancer screening. FOBT, uh, if done every year and followed up appropriately, can be similarly effective to uh, other types of screening. Uh, in addition, it's inexpensive, easy for patients to use, non-invasive, can be done in the privacy of one's own home and mailed into the laboratory. The biggest challenge with annual FOBT is simply getting it into the hands of patients when they need it. Physicians are very busy with all the other things that patients need, and so it really helps if the nursing staff medical assistance can be involved in the process. As a physician, um, if you wanted your patient to get colon cancer screen, it was really difficult because the patients here come in, they've got maybe 10 or 11 things, you've got maybe five or six things you're trying to cover in a visit. Preventive services was always pushed to the next visit and the next visit and the next visit, so it frequently, unfortunately, didn't happen. Before Southeast joined the flu FOBT program, we had a very disorganized way uh, to order the colon, for colon cancer screening. Uh, the system relied mainly on the providers remembering that to see if somebody was due. Uh, we handed out very few kits, and then out of the few kits that we handed out, very few kits actually came back. One opportunity for nursing staff to get involved with the offering of annual FOBT is at the time of annual flu shots. Flu shots are typically given to people in the 50 to 75 year old age group, which is the same age group that needs to get FOBT every year. Couple eight FOBT and flu shots during flu shot season was a natural and easy step for us to take. I think in the past, when we've asked people to do things, we ask people to just add on something and it's very overwhelming. We are used to offering flu shots seasonally, and so it was just a, sort of a natural um, prompt and protocol to just, once you offer the flu shot, offer the FOBT as well. We were interested in the flu FOBT programs for two reasons. One, it makes clinical sense. It is the same time when we offer colon cancer screening to offer flu shots. Two, we were about to uh, undergo a transformation process to expand staff roles to include the nursing staff in offering clinical preventive services to clients. The flu FOBT program came with a lot of helpful information that the nurses used to organize the clinic and to um, help provide the patient uh, get the information they needed which resulted in a greater returns of the test. The flu FOBT program comes with a variety of resources for implementation, a staff training manual, multilingual clinic posters, patient instructions, and an instructional video. A flu FOBT log can be used to remind staff to offer FOBT and as a mechanism to track and follow up FOBT results. The flu FOBT program can be implemented with any type of home FOBT, including the highly sensitive GAIAC tests and the fecal immunochemical tests that are displayed here. I was bringing in one gentleman who spoke enough English to answer that the language that he spoke was Cantonese. And when he came in, he was very excited to see on the screen that one of the video options is Cantonese. He says, that's Cantonese. I said, I know. We were both very excited to be able to communicate. If I were given advice on how to implement a flu FOBT program, I would recommend using the materials that are provided, um, plan ahead, but most important, always keep in mind how important colon cancer screening is for our patients. 
The flu FOBT program is a great way for community health centers to address two important priorities for preventive health at the same time. It is easy for staff, it is accepted by patients, and it can lead to other unexpected improvements in health care all at the same time. Before we started our project, the colon cancer screening rate was in the mid 40s to high 40s. After year one, our rate went to low 60s, and now we're about two to three years at, since the participation. Our rate are just about to break the 70% rate, which is great. Moreover, because the staff now is involved in other clinical preventive service offerings, our other rates have also continued to climb, like in pertussis vaccination, mammography, and pap smear screening. Doing this kind of a project, the, the only thing it is, it is given um, the nursing staff and it's, it's the, the MEAs and health workers sort of power to start doing preventive care and not just waiting and stepping back. It's, it's actually moving them forward to, to take part and take charge of, of, of a patient's health. It's great that we're making a difference. Um, I don't think it was a hard transition. I think it was just something like anything new, you have to get used to it. So now when we are going to be giving them their flu shot, we offer them FOBT uh, screening. So yeah, so now everybody does it. It's something we do automatically now. Well, I feel satisfied that, that I'm, I feel like I'm doing po something positive for our patients. And um, just to let them know that it's so important, you know, our health, health comes first. We're a really busy clinic. We don't have a lot of nurses, and we have a lot of difficult patients that we take care of. But if we can push the flu FOBT program, any clinic should be able to do it. It's been very gratifying to see all of the interested parties come together and develop a program that, at the end of the day, will save lives.